filed. Hey, we're gonna be doing something that has been requested. Uh, I did this for Red Deer, over 6,000 views, which is a ton for me if you don't watch the channel, you know. That's an absolute crap ton for me, so yeah, it's. I, I was really happy with that, but I got a lot of comments on that video that said make one for whitetails, so here we go, blow this video up, go smash the like button and subscribe while you're at it if you're new here. I'm at Squidster, and this is Call of the Wild. Okay, so there's a couple requirements for this video. Obviously, I want you guys to know what herd management is. Basically, what that is, it's shooting the mid-level animals and for spawning large. Basically, for example, red deer, I would be shooting level fives and above because they do go up to nine legendary. And level three, and level four and below is not mid-level animals. So five is basically midway to nine, and doing that will leave all the little animals on the map, filling up your zones of little animals. And if you continuously shoot out all of your big animals, aka fives and above, so basically not necessarily big animals with mid-tier animals including nines and if you are lucky enough to get a 10 fabled on your map which i was not oh that made me cry then you should definitely shoot that too but anyways so today what should you shoot for white tail is a lot what a lot of people ask me obviously level twos and above don't shoot the level ones because level ones in the first place you're gonna want to shoot level twos and above so basically if i have a one in this zone i can use it as an example but i don't because my zones are cracked as you can see I'm, i am currently doing a white tail grind if you guys want to see us do that live i think that is a one right there actually so maybe my zones aren't cracked but this is a nice deer right here so we're gonna zero to 328 and we're gonna pop him Okay, and the 7mm, this is the new uh, um, Malamar 7mm Magnum that came with the Hunter Power Pack update. I did do a full showcase on that. You guys can go click that in the upper right hand corner or you can find it in the description below. So the first step to doing herd management for whitetail is to find every single one of your drink zones. And for here in Rancho, I know a lot of people are doing it in Rev and Tuli, but I decided I go back to the original, the OG for old time's sake. I'll head to Rancho Del Arroyo and do a whitetail grind for all you guys, cause I did make a poll on my YouTube channel, and you guys yourselves did vote for Rancho Del Arroyo. Why? Don't ask me. You guys can go ask my viewers. So once you have spent, I mean, so once you have got all your <laughs> zones, I'm thinking ahead of myself. Once you have got all your zones, I do recommend spending $250,000 on tents and tripods, which I don't even have that much. I am so broke right now from buying those tents and tripods. I did actually have to take some off of my Red Deer grind, which still is 50% set up, I guess we can say. If you guys want to see me grind any Red Deer, you guys can head over to my YouTube, uh, or to my Twitch channel, and you guys can follow that, and I do do a lot of grinding for Red Deer live on Twitch all the time. Also, in the description. Alright guys, and the 7mm Magnum does do an amazing job, and the reason that I definitely recommend going to get this pack, A, because it comes with an overpowered 338 that I don't have in my inventory right now, because I do have my Whitetail Grind loadout set up, also custom loadouts did come with this update, if you guys want to see a full review on this new update, go check out my channel, I made a whole showcase on that. So, the reason that this is better than the 7mm that comes with the original game, and if you do like that better, that's your opinion, but I don't see why you would, this gun has three shots, it is a bolt action rifle and the other one is a single shot which kind of sucks for follow-up shots especially when grinding but a perfect gold white tail be lung shot at that look at that amazing penetration if i had a better shot on that i could have got a double lung shot right there it was perfectly lined up i just had to uh, be a little more like that not so much like this Alright guys, a method that can also help you out in your grind as you are using herd management is to use stacking. And for more information on stacking, go watch my Red Deer video. That method will work for Whitetail as well. And I mean, I guess the grinding or the herd management video for Red Deer does really simulate with Whitetail as well. It's basically just shooting mid-tier levels, like I said, for spawning larger animals. And then the more larger animals you shoot, you'll eventually spawn more diamonds. Diamonds lead to great ones. Uh, and you really don't have to spawn a great one off of a diamond a lot of people get that confused you can actually spawn a great one off a of level seven and above for red deer and you can spawn a great one off of a level two or a level three for white tail and it does not matter at all well, my friends, if you guys want to see the status zone in Call of the Wild, and this is what herd management does, so you have to be up for the, uh, oh wait, maybe not, uh, level one. <laughs> you have to be up for the pain, because it is very painful until you, until you start spawning those diamonds. Your zones like this will start to end up like this with a couple females and a level one. This zone is no longer in harvesting, uh, 
order so we're gonna move on to my next zones and I'm not gonna harvest this zone anymore because I never really liked it anyways as you can see it's really hard to see the deer I didn't even notice the other two at first I thought it was just that uh, female so I highly recommend really 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 hard grinding on your zones that you don't like I know it's really weird because you're doing stuff you don't want to do but to get that done that zone eventually will look like that zone back there with no shooter deer in it then you can leave it and worry about your new zones so once herd management starts to get in and starts locking in, your zones will start looking like this. Uh, like after, I mean, like you've made all your other zones really like a lot of little deer. It'll have two nice bucks and really a couple just, you know, trashy deer. Uh, that's not necessarily trashy. It's a two. I'll shoot it. But uh, it's a bunch of level or a bunch of does, maybe a level one in there at some point, And then two nice shooter bucks right here. Actually three. But another thing I recommend doing is not shooting uh, more than two deer in a zone. Oh, there's a level one. Get that out of here bye i want you to despawn <laughs> i wish that worked and what will happen if you shoot more than two deer in one zone that will potentially destroy the entire zone i don't know why i learned that from i buy uh and i also learned that from lady huge shout out to them for telling me that dang it that is the d strengths of playing on a controller right there my friends if you play on pc use the keyboard and mouse like why would you use a controller i mean it might be easier to like navigate and stuff because the mouse does like tend to do stuff you don't want it to and so at least my mouse and i have a 150 dollar mouse so it must be the same for everyone at least that's what it's like in fortnite and stuff i don't know maybe call of the wild's better i mean it is better than fortnite I prefer call of the wild any day if you're on fortnite go grind call of the wild guys go give ew money go play their game guys in the end your zones will start to work like that consistently grind on all those zones make sure you have your tents and tripods in places that are very easy and consistent to harvest your deer just like i do uh if my deer didn't despawn isn't the zone right here maybe not maybe it's over there i can't even remember at this point so guys, if you are wanting to do a grind here in Rancho, I will give you guys a quick couple quick pointers. So basically, there is whitetail everywhere besides the, all the lakes on the left. Unfortunately, W Lake is no longer a hot spot. There is no zones all the way up right here. All the way up in the upper left-hand corner up here, there's no zones. But then when you come over to this lake, boom, two whitetail zones. For me, at least, I still got to find more. And there's deer right here. I haven't checked up here yet because I haven't managed to get through the mountains on my quad without dying. And there's also a bunch of more zones down here. There's zones right here. And basically everywhere besides the bottom left and the upper left and maybe in the upper right. I haven't got the chance to check yet. I could probably go check this one like right now because there's no mountains on the way. But I died three times in a row trying to get to this one. So I guess I just got to take the designated route. Which there isn't really one but you can clearly see that they made a cutout in the trees or the mountains right here to get to this lake. Guys, before we do wrap it up today, I am going to explain stacking for you guys, so that way you guys can do that as well. So basically, it's really simple. You can stack great ones too. I don't see why you would, unless you want to go I buy mode. I think Lady did it once too, because just because the moose fur types were glitching out before the new update came out in the lodge. So basically, once you spawn a diamond or diamonds, you basically leave the diamonds on the map, uh, or diamond, whatever it is have a better chance of spawning a great one or a massive diamond potentially even a super rare i did make a video dedicated on how to get a super rare also linked in the description if you guys want to go check that out or if you are on pc or mobile click in the upper right hand corner to watch that right now uh basically back to stacking once you shoot all your diamonds something big is gonna spawn and i'm not gonna say it's guaranteed because i have shot all my diamonds once and just filled up a bunch of slots in my trophy lodge and nothing happened because that's the luck i hear i have here at squidster the little guy but He's still gonna be dead. I hope. I hope that was good. That was really low. Dang it, we didn't get him again. <laughs> Man, I'm sucking at shooting today. I'm just I'm just warming up, guys. I'm just about to go live after this. But anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, like I can't even talk today. G school is hypnotizing me. Anyway, got anyways, guys. Today, put on the smash the like button and subscribe. Join the Discord server. Link is in the description. This is the only thing I can say because, like, I mean, this is the only thing I'm good at saying because I say it at the end of every single one of my 374 videos. Make sure you guys go to join the Discord server. You guys can join the It's team for free today. If you guys want to participate in some Call of the Wild tournaments and or Fortnite tournaments, we do play Fortnite as well, mostly on Twitch, not much on YouTube because YouTube is Call of the Wild based, and I know that's what you guys love. That's what I've gained all my subscribers off of it. So, thank you guys so much for being here. If you made it to this point, go down there comment hello i'm a squister fan and if you are not a squister fan become one join the squid pack squid gang make sure you got oh it says zero to 75 how how i'm gonna claim this off camera anyways guys we'll see you guys in the next video make sure you guys do go by the hunter power pack use code it's in the item shop and we'll see you guys 
in the next video. Bye!